Well, the Fairly Odd Parents are back granting wishes in a new show combining live action and animation this time. Joining me now is Suzanne Blakesley and Darren Norris. They're here with a preview of the Fairly Odd Parents Fairly Otter. I don't know if that's possible. The original show was so much fun. Thank you guys for being here. And what's it like to be back as Wanda and Cosmo? Well, it's a, it's a thrill. It's just a, a joy. Um, I get to work with Darren again, magnificent. And um, I couldn't be happier, more grateful. I would echo all of that. It's uh, It was unexpected uh, to be sure, but wow. We're pretty lucky to be able to get to do this. <laughs> okay, this is why I love doing these interviews, with, especially with voice actors. It is so fun to see you guys from just talking as yourselves to just transitioning into the character. And, you know, <laughs> this reinvention of the series is a little different because we will have the live action as well as the animation. What was that all like? Um, well, we just talk. That's all we do. That's all we know how to do. <laughs> but we, the, the um, live actors are... Brilliant, funny, talented. It's just a joy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell me a little bit about the storyline. So how is Timmy involved? I, from reading just a little bit of it, he basically is giving you guys to his cousin to make her transition a little bit more smoothly in her new city. Am I getting this right? Yes, I think that's well said. Yes, uh, Timmy is off to college, off to Princeton, right? Is that right? Yes. Through, through no help of us, <laughs> he must have gotten there on his own merit. <laughs> and uh, his, yes, his cousin Viv uh, has a similar sort of background and she's not fitting in and she's not sure she, uh, this is going to work out for her. So he bestows Cosmo and Wanda onto her and then thereby her stepbrother Roy as well. So that'll be a nice twist as well, because not only is she getting the wishes, she also has to share them with her new stepbrother. Yes. So are we going to see some of the same? Because, you know, making the wishes, it's always fun, but they don't always go as planned as we learned from the original series. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful what you wish for. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to see some of those shenanigans as well. Definitely. And you'll probably uh, see some of the other uh, classic Fairly Odd Parents characters as well. I hope I'm not giving anything away. <laughs> well, that's cool. That'll be neat to see that though we have people coming back on the show from the original series. Why do you think it did so well? I mean, it was on Nickelodeon for years. People really loved it. My stepkids, I mean, adored the show. That's kind of how I learned about it. Why do you think it resonated so well? Well, I think it, it resonates because, uh, first of all, what kid doesn't want uh, wishes granted, but also um, you, you've you uh, got uh, kids that don't quite fit in and um, uh, celebrating kids of all kinds. You don't have to be the cool kid to have a great fun life. And uh, it's done with a lot of love and heart too. So uh, I think that's important because, of course, the family is about the, the show is about family. And like you said, about fitting in and having those uh, fairy godparents was actually pretty cool. No doubt. I wish I had three wishes for sure, too. I wish I had fairy godparents. Who doesn't want those things to happen in life, especially when you're a kid? <laughs> Well, we're so excited the show is back. You can catch it streaming all 13 episodes of The Fairly Odd Parents, Fairly Otter on Paramount+. Plus. And I don't know if people know this. You can actually see all the original episodes as well. So we've got some binge watching to do in our house. <laughs> Get busy binging! <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely. All right. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Our pleasure. Thank you. Truly. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>